Hi, I'm Donna Dewberry. We're painting one stroke painting today. What I what I do with the centers is that I'm gonna get the lime green and I might just dot some of these. But make sure you don't try to make them all perfect in every single one. When I use the tip of the brush, I do multi-dots because I like it being regular instead of perfect dots. I know a lot of you have done this with me where we dip dot. Okay. So like little teeny dots in the middle. And that helps take away from the green stems and that show through that too. Okay. So now what we're going to do is I love these little guys that hang. Can you see this? Look how cute those hang from the flower. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch and pull in. So this is thick. I'm using thick paint and I can stroke through some of the dark green too. And these, I think, are the fun thing I like to do on this flower is because I think it gives it dimension. Because you can just not do that and uh, still have a pretty geranium because it's all about the leaves and the flowers. All right? And then the other thing is I like to touch because this is a new one coming out. And then sometimes you can just put some loose little starting to burst open blossoms here and there. Okay, so the important thing to show you now is how do we get this fun red rim inside the geranium. All right, so this is how we're doing it. We're going to take medium on both sides of the brush. Then we're going to come right here, and we want to side load, and you can't dip into this. You're going to, let me put it over here so you can see. I want to side load a nice, and not whippy. See, it's got to be a lot. It's going to be strong red, not wimpy. All right. And then, so let me turn this around so that I can show you easier. I'm going to come right in here, and I'm going to lay the brush flat and do the same wiggles. Now, let me tell you what happens if you're on glass doing this. You've got to totally let your glass dry, maybe even put it in the oven and bake it so that it's ready before you touch it because you'll lift up. See, I didn't lift up these. I was pretty good with that because I put plenty of paint. So when you're on the glass and metal, put a good coating of, of paint when you do it and see how fast and easy that came in. And that's what makes it fun. And the best part is we're using folk art paint, the multi-surface. And we're using a medium when you need to. And that's the magic, having your flat brushes and your script liner. That's all I used on here is a 12, a 3 quarter, and a number 2 script liner. Now, wasn't that fun? I had a good time. I hope you did.